Hey guys, it's Michelle. I am finally sitting down to do what I've been wanting to do for two or three months now, but I just kept adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. So now I'm finally going to do this video. I'm not adding anything else to this. This will be everything that is going to be in my 100 subscriber giveaway. So this is going to take a little while because this is a huge amount of products uh, in no particular order. I've just kind of put them in Ziploc baggies to kind of categorize things and kind of not. So it's not like I'm going to go from the lowest to the highest or anything like that. It's going to be all jumbled up because I have a stack, uh, like huge, huge stack. I mean, just enormous stack of things to give away. So uh, this giveaway is not going to be done until I hit 100 subscribers. So please, please, please uh, share my videos with your friends and uh, have them subscribe so we can get on with this. Uh, this is not... Um, to be confused with my monthly giveaways for 2019. Those are still going to go on for my subscribers, but this is the one that I'm going to do when I hit 100 subscribers and uh, I'll give you more details when that happens. But I wanted to show you guys everything that's going to be in this giveaway because I am so very excited, very excited. Okay. Um, and I did take out a couple of things that I didn't think were good enough and I've added tons more since the video I did. Gosh, it's probably been four or five months ago now. So this is, this is even better. So, um, I hope you guys are happy with, with what I've put together. Um, let me just start with whatever bag I grab and, uh, we'll just go from there. All right. This first little bag is full of random things. <laughs> I tried to categorize things as best I could, like, um, you know, put brushes with brushes and brands with brands if I could, but this is miscellaneous stuff. So there is a, um, Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40 sample. There is a Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum. A Kiehl's Cal Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. Pardon me if I pronounce that incorrectly. Sample. I, could, I assume that's a sample. It's one fluid ounce. I'm not sure if that's a sample or the actual size. Um, there is a set of Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. This is a little, this is a little two-step process there. And then there is a bamboo oil um, strengthening shine hair oil from Hask, and that's I'm assuming sample size. Um, and then the last thing in this little baggie is an acne clearing charcoal cleanser with probiotics from First Aid Beauty. So that is the first little bag. This video is going to take a little bit, so I hope you guys are prepared for this. I'm so very excited with everything that's in here. I'm going to try not to take forever to get everything put back in the little bags because um, we could be here. Well, I was going to say we could be here all night, but it's like 4.30 in the morning because I can't sleep. I've been up, I've showered, I've put my makeup on. Everybody else in the house is still asleep. So. Um, let's see. Next, I have a bag of Almay products. Um, I do like Almay brand. So there is a, oh, let's see here, Sapphire Volumizing Mascara from Almay. I'm assuming that's blue. There is a single Almay Shadow Softies, and this is the color, eh, this is the color of some shade of blue. I don't see it. Do, 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 do. Eh, anyway, it's really pretty. <laughs> some shade of blue, we'll just go with that. There is a, oh, and then the other two in here are CoverGirl. This is a CoverGirl little eyeshadow palette. And then a CoverGirl um, flamed out shadow pencil in the shade, I also don't know. Why don't they make these more obvious? Oh, Gold Flame. That's what this is. So I'll put these all back in the little bag. So that's the Almay and CoverGirl products. Stick with me. It gets better. I've got drugstore up to high end. It's just a whole mix of things. It's just craziness. Um, all right, this is the mask bag. And I forgot to count how many masks are in here, so let's see. One of these is a hair mask, which is a Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treat one minute hair mask. So that's this one. And then there's a Christmas cookie, Seven Days Mask Green Tea, Seven Days Mask Bamboo Water, Dead Sea Mud from Seventh Heaven, Deer Tea Tree, uh, Up in the Clouds, Rosy Energy Hold Me Tight. Uh, there's two pomegranate cranberries from the cream shop 
an herbs fit sheet mask in lavender, another tea tree mask, a pure smile. Uh, this one came in my um, no make no life box. So that one's from Tokyo and then a vitamin C velvet mask. So there's one hair mask in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 face masks. 13 face masks, that's a lot. <laughs> I would be excited to win this, I'm telling you. I'm kind of jealous of whoever wins this, but I've been putting this together for a while now. And if you hear any noise in the background, that's my dog. She's up, uh, she's a night owl like I am. All right, next I have a bag full of nail products. You guys know I love Kiss brand nail products. Um, but there's also one thing in here from Kiss that's not nail products, but I stuck it in here anyway. This is the Kiss Cat Eye All-in-One False Eyelash Kit. And um, on with the Kiss brand, there's Design Tip Guides. These are used for your fingernails. You put the little guide on there and then you paint around them and then peel the sticker off and it leaves little designs on your nails. Then there's a set of Gel Fantasy Ready to Wear Kiss Medium Length Nails that you glue on. Um, and then there's let's see, five nail polishes. I'll try not to drop these as I go. There is a paparazzi in the color green of some shade. Uh, oh, limousine ride. Get it? Limousine. <laughs> That's cute. This one is sinful colors in the shade red rum. If anybody has seen The Shining, you get that reference. There's a Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the shade A Blazing. This is an orangey coral shade, which I hear is the color of the year, so that's nice. Um, this one is Julie Nail Color in the shade some sort of sparkly red. I have no idea. Can't see it. And then NCLA Los Angeles. I've been drinking. And this is a uh, corally orange shade as well. So that's everything in that bag. Okay, I have some Ulta Beauty products. That's this little bag. There is, uh, and these actually came from a kit, I think, that I got from Ulta free for purchasing so much, and, and I didn't need to use these things because I have way too much makeup, so put these in the giveaway. There's a little six-pan eyeshadow palette, which is really cute. And then this is a bronzer and highlighting palette, which is really cute. And there's an Ulta, Ulta Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Soiree. It's kind of um, almost a brick red. And then there's a Color Rush Lip Gloss from Ulta, and this is in the shade <laughs> Olivia. So those kind of go together. They're kind of a, I would say brick red. Yeah, we'll go with brick red on that. Then next, I have a bag with some little makeup bags in it. There's um, three different makeup bags in here. This one is from Sephora Play. It's a little mint green in a seafoam green color. It's really cute. Then this one I absolutely adore. I got this one from Shop Masse and I think that's really cute. And then this one is also from Sephora. It's, um feels like those coats that you can buy. So those are just some little extra makeup bags that I had. They're all new. Um, but I thought somebody else might have use for them. I have way too many makeup bags and some of these I have doubles of. So just uh, spreading the love. And next I have, let's see. This is all lip products. They're mixed brands. That's this little bag. There's still tons of stuff to go, so I hope you guys are not in a hurry. Um, if I can get this open, we'll see what's in this bag. All right. This one is an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona, which is a um, kind of a mocha brown color. This one, I have one of these that I bought for myself, so I bought one to throw in here for you guys. I'm not sure what the name of the brand is. Wait, where is it? Fright Night. 
This came out at Halloween time. Um, but it's a really cool shade when you put it on. It looks kind of blackish on here, but it's not. It's more of a plummy purple color, and it's really pretty on. The case is hilarious. <laughs> Little skull and bones. I don't normally buy things with skulls on them, but I liked the color. So Next, there's a Color Workshop Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this just has a number on it. I don't see a color name. But this is a, a corally brownish color. Then I have a Tartiest Lip Paint in the color no idea which is a like a chocolatey mocha brown a lighter brown and there's a little duo set of ellen tracy lipsticks these are matte it's a matte lipstick duo in the shades wow i really wish they would make this easier this could take all night if i can't find it okay well it's in oh plum and kava so there's a corally color and a brownish color a darker brown and two more things in this bag there's another um, this one is the Color Workshop Matte Liquid Lipstick in red. I guess I can tell what that color is. I don't know what they officially call it, but it's, it's red. And then there is a Berrylicious Lip Gloss, which is a, it's like a marbleized color. I'm not sure what it would look like on the lips because I haven't opened it, but I thought that the swirly colors were kind of cute, so I bought that to put in here. All right. So those are some miscellaneous lip products. Next we have, this is kind of a, I guess like a spa bag, it has some different items in it. There's a scrunchie in green. There's a little set of um, exfoliating bath gloves in pink and white. And then there is a satin sleep mask from Spa Bella, which this is huge. I really like the size of this. That's really cool. I should have bought one of those for myself, but I didn't. Oh, well. And then there's a pumice stone, shaped like a little fishy. Mm -hmm. Then this is a self-tanning, um, I guess it would be kind of like a beauty blender, but not officially beauty blender. This says it's a flawless um, body application sponge. There, it's kind of hard to see because of the polka dots. Sorry about that. Um, but that's black. It's pretty good size too, so you can keep the tanning lotion die off your hands. I, think. I thought that was kind of a neat product when I picked it up. So, oops, sorry about that. Now I'm dropping everything. I'm gonna have to get a huge box to mail this stuff. We're still going, still going. Lots more to go. Okay, next. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but this bag is just full of random samples. Sample after sample after sample. There's some perfume samples and some other things in there. Um, that's that one. Okay. Oh, and this one has two um, Josie Moran whipped argan oils. One is sugar plum, and the other one is sweet holly. These are two fluid ounces a piece, so those are pretty good size. I love, love, love Josie Moran. Um, let's see what's next. Aha, this is a bag full of eyeshadow palettes. Let's see what's in here, because I don't remember. Oh, and one that's not a palette, but this is Jessie's Girl Fluid Shadow. This is a, um, a dark bluish color, which is really pretty. I have one like it. And then there's a Milani eyeshadow palette. This one is Everyday Eyes, which is really pretty. The Naked Cosmetics um, Holographic Highlighter Collection Palette. This isn't an eyeshadow palette, but I stuck it in with the rest of the palettes. Look at those, those colors are so pretty. Really, really pretty. I've been collecting this stuff for, well, almost since I started my YouTube channel. Um, so they're from different subscription boxes or things that I've purchased to put in here specifically. So I hope you guys like everything. Um, this one is from Makeup Revolution. This is um, Fierce as Fire. Gorgeous corally colors on point for this year, for the color of the year, apparently. Um, so at least that's what I've heard online. Uh, the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Palette, eyeshadow palette. I'll hide the mirror so I don't blind anybody. I think this one came from BoxyCharm a while back. Um, and here's a couple of singles. This one is from, I don't know how you pronounce this, Deuce or Duce, Prematic Bronzer. 
it's a single. And then ColourPop Pressed Powder Shadow. This is my favorite eyeshadow color of all time. And I have, I bought like five or six of these because I was afraid that they would stop making it. This is called Come and Get It. And it's a pink shade. It's metallic and it's just so pretty all over your lid. Um, I guess you could use it as a highlighter too. It would be really pretty. And then the last thing in this one is Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics Cosmic Light Multifunctional Pigments. Um, so I can get this open. Yes. And this is, a, it seems like there's a lot of blue stuff in here. Sorry about that. This is a light blue. I love to wear blue. I have blue eyes and I love blue eyeshadows, but that's not why all those are in here. It's just kind of a fluke that I ended up with this much blue in here. <laughs> it's a lot of blue and there's a lot of coral, apparently. Lots of um, browns and tans. Neutrals work for just about everybody, I think. I tried to mix it up because I don't know who's going to win. So. Um, let's see next. Okay, this is, um, I'll come back to that one in a minute. Okay, this one is like a, a spa beauty utensily kind of bag too. This is a nail clipper set, Manny Petty from Nicole Miller, New York, and it's a rose gold with a baby pink. Um, really, really pretty. Then this is a matching Precision Beauty slant point tweezer set in rose gold. It's a different brand, but they do match. Um, then there's one of these little single, this is like an eyebrow shaver type thing, so be careful with that. Nice and pink. Um, there's a miscellaneous little um, sponge thing from Tarte that I found in one of those, I think it came in a subscription box with something or something I ordered from Tarte and it was in the box and it hasn't been used and I didn't know what to do with it so I threw it in here. And last but not least in this bag is a rose gold color Nicole Miller New York Lash Curler. So that's that bag. I've had so much fun putting all this together. Yes, it's like Christmas to me. I can't wait to give this to somebody, but I have to get to 100 subscribers first. Um, so please, please, please help me get there. We are at, as of right now, is it 68? I'm very excited. All right, this one is uh, Rimmel. This is all Rimmel products. This is a Rimmel Retro Mania Scandalized set. This has a thick and thin liner, retro glam mascara, and a shadow paint. So that's a set. Then there's a, um, a blush highlighter and contour palette, which is really pretty. This is a lipstick. Um, it's like a burgundy brick red color. I think for red lipstick, apparently, too. I'm not sure exactly what they call this one, and I'm not going to sit here for an hour making you guys wait for me to find what color it is. And then there's a Rimmel Scandalize 24-hour um, Sparkling Black Eyeliner. And then two of my very favorite in the whole wide world lips, uh, lip liners from Rimmel, and this is the color Spice. Um, are they both Spice? I think so. No, one is Spice and one is Wild Clover. I love both of these. These Rimmel lip liners are my favorites because they're the kind you sharpen and you can keep a nice sharp point on them. I cannot stand those lip liners that you have to roll up and then you can't get a sharp point on them after you use them the first time. That drives me batty. Just, I can't stand it. Just can't deal with it. So that's Rimmel products. The next one is Wet n Wild. You guys know that I love Wet n Wild. Um, I hear some of the big beauty gurus talking about Wet n Wild and they like it too. So I guess it's not just me. Um, first one is the bronzer that I use all the time. This is Color Icon Bronzer and Take It to Brazil. I wanted to give you guys some of the products that I use on my channel all the time. Um, Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. And then there's a couple little single things in here from Wet n Wild. This one's a loose pigment and a it's kind of a, it's a gold, but it's, it's in between gold and rose gold. I don't know how else to describe it. It's a little, it looks like a little bit of a mix to me. And then there's a single shadow, which is uh, Vices. And this is a pinkish red, which I thought was really cool. So I picked that up. That's all the Wet n Wild items. I'm trying to save the big brush bag to last because you won't believe how many brushes are in here. <laughs> um, what is this? This is LA Colors. Kind of just skipping around here from high end to low end to high end to low end. Um, 
This is LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss, and I don't see the shade on it, but it's a pinkish color. This is a contour stick, and um, I don't know if you can see that color or not. My lighting in here sucks right now. I have to get the stand for my ring light. It's just driving me crazy. This is a, it's a nice shade of um, a darker tan for contour. Then this is a contour stick and a lighter color. And da, 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 LA Colors Black Eyeliner Pencil. And then this is a brow pencil and it's got a little, you can see the little brush there on the end of the cap. I thought that was cute, so I picked that up. I have another miscellaneous bag here. Um, we're still not done. We're still going and we're at 20 minutes already. Still going and I still have six or seven bags to go. All right, this one, this is Bang Beauty. Um, let me open this one up so I can show you. This is the Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. You guys may have, some of you guys who get subscription boxes may have already received this one, but I don't use brown and I'm, I suck at using gel liner, so I'll put that one in there. Um, I hope somebody gets good use out of that because it's really pretty. I just, my hands are not steady enough to use gel liner. Um, then there's an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion. There's a Sormay Brow Lift Brow Highlighting Pencil, which is, if I can get it open, I'll show you what color it is. So some of these boxes that, um, will have a little dent where I open them to show you guys, but that's all there. Everything in here is brand new. Um, this is the Brow Highlighting Pencil. Trying to get the lid back on without bashing the side of it. Eeh. And the last thing in this little bag is from Shella or Shella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream, which has the little brush on this end, and then color is down in the other end. So that's that bag. We're getting there, guys. I promise. But you know, the longer I talk, that just means there's more stuff in this giveaway. This is probably one of the biggest giveaways. I have seen by somebody who has less than 100 subscribers. <laughs> I just want to get to 100 subscribers to prove to myself that um, there's actually people out there that are listening to me ramble. Because <laughs> that's what I feel like I'm doing most of the time. Um, but I'm having fun and I've met some really sweet people on here. Okay, the next little bag has um, three blushes in it. First one is Blush Crush in the color Zane. This is from Lottie London. Which, um, I remember when we got these in the subscription box, somebody noted that it's kind of a weird little container. It's just a little plastic thing, which if I can get it out of the box, it didn't come in a palette or anything. Um, it just came like that, which is odd, but the color is really pretty. Really pretty, kind of a corally pink. Next, there is... Um, Kaleido Cosmetic Skin Blush and it says cruelty free no matter what. I'm looking for a color on here but I don't see it. So let's open this bad boy up. If I can get it open. This is a cute little container. This is, um, and by the way, I just I hit it with the corner of the box um, when I was opening it to look at the colors. There's a little streak right there on the corner, but it is brand new. I promise you. I just hit it with the box. This is a corally peachy color. That is brand new. I'm just clumsy. <laughs> and then the last one in here is Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the color Desert Rose. So, even if you win this and you don't want all this stuff, you can share it. <laughs> so yeah, this is... Um, a lot of product, I realize. And this is a brownish corally shade. And that is the blush bag. We're getting there. Three, four, four or five more little bags here. Well, one of them is not a little bag. I'm saving the brush bag to last because it's huge, in my opinion. All right, next, there is a bag of miscellaneous lotions. Uh, if I can get this open, it might be a miracle. 
what in the world have I done? I just put on a new set of nails and I can't function. Uh, this is Summer Peach by Simple Pleasures. This is a pretty good size lotion there. And this one is, um, this one came from No Make No Life in Tokyo. This is Witch's Pouch Hand Cream and Peach as well. Don't know how I ended up with so many peaches in here. Sorry about that. And this is a Body Shop um, Pink Grapefruit <laughs> Pink Grapefruit Seed Oil uh, Exfoliating Gel Body Scrub. And then the last thing in here is Orange Gasm Soap and Glory Super Rich Body Butter. That's that little bag. Next, I have a little bag of jewelry because, you know, I like to switch it up a little bit. There's a cute little multicolored rope bracelet. And then um, this is a mint mongoose bracelet. It's an ivory shade with little beads on it and rope. And then this is just a little flower pin that you can put on your lapel. Slightly miscellaneous bag. I wasn't really sure what to call this because this has a few different things in it. First one is Physicians Formula Argon Wear Ultra Nourishing Argon Oil Powder in the shade. Um... <laughs> translucent. <laughs> I don't think translucent is really a shade. Eh, I guess it kind of is. Then this uh, C Tiv Highlight Colors came from No Make No Life in Tokyo. This has two different powders in it, I believe. This it appears to. And then maybe the lid. I don't know. I don't read Japanese. Um, then there's a little thing of neon body stickers. These are from Halloween. These came from No Make No Life. Um, but I thought they were cute, so I put those in here. Because I, I don't uh, know what to do with those. Next is a Galactic Skin Glow in Moonlight. This is beautiful, whoops, sorry about that. Beautiful contour and blush set. And there's a little cell phone mirror where you can stick it in your locker, or, you know, stick it in your car, it's a square selfie mirror. Um, I have mine on the back of my phone and I love it. It comes in handy, especially when I smear my lipstick or my granddaughter swipes her hand across my face. She's seven and a half months old now and she has a habit of going like that <laughs> right across my lipstick every day. Then this is the cutest little compact. I got this at Charm and Charlie. I don't know if they have a Charm and Charlie where you live, but this is, it says don't be basic. And it's just a little compact. You push the little button and whoops, I don't want to flash anybody, but I thought that was just adorable. So I picked that up. That's everything in that bag. Okay. Uh, we are down to the last bag. This is the brush and applicator bag. Um, there we go. And some of these things are bigger than others, um, but this is the bag that has the most items in it. It's a little bag of sponges, cute little color. This is a Sweet and Shimmer Kabuki brush, which I thought was adorable. It has little pink crystal, fake crystals, of course, but uh, sparkly little brush there. And then there is a Real Techniques Mini Medium Sculpting brush an e.l.f. bronzing brush, a Pure Cosmetics um, blending crease brush, a highlighting brush from Tokyo called Felicilla, I believe is how you pronounce that. It's a very cute little brush. There's a trio of brushes from Aesthetica. And then last but not least, this is a Rose Gold Pro Angle Contour Brush from Urban Studio. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I switched out a couple of things because I didn't think they were good enough to put in here or 
you know, one thing spilled, so I had to take it out, um, but I added tons more, so <laughs> I think it balances out okay. Um, in order to do the drawing for this, I just need to reach 100 subscribers, and then I'll fill you guys in, in on the details on how to enter that. So if you wouldn't mind sharing this with your friends, get them to subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll get to the 100 subscribers hopefully really soon. I'm excited about giving this away. I also have a monthly giveaway going on right now, but I don't want to confuse anybody by linking that one down below, so I'm just not going to do it on this video. But join me again and we'll talk about life and love and lipstick and shoes and shopping and whatever pops into my head. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.